Hello Nuggets. Okay, so I wanted to share with you that we are going out of town for a couple of days, uh, for four days or so. We're going to Washington. We're actually going to Lynchburg, but uh, we're going to a wedding and then we're driving up to Washington because I've never been there and I became a citizen this year. And uh, I just want to see it. I want to see the Lincoln statue, I want to see the Smithsonian, the mall, you know, all of that stuff. So uh, Laura books the flights and she books her American Airlines. Now, I hate American Airlines. I am totally willing to pay more money to not fly American Airlines. Um, they just I have a bad experience with them every time. Without fail, it's a bad experience. Um, but she books them. She has a credit card with them, like an air a rewards card and what have you. We didn't get anything from it, by the way. Anyway, we booked the flights. So today we have to check in. So this morning, Laura goes online to check in and she can't check me in. She can only check herself in, which is weird because... You know, we book flights all the time and one of us checks us in. That's how it works. But she wasn't even allowed to do it, which I thought was really weird. So I go online to check in, have to do it separately, and I'm in a different seat. I'm nowhere near her. So I'm like, all right, well, that's just the assigned seat. So I go to change the seats. You have to pay, not for an upgrade. Just to be clear, this is not to go to premium economy or first class or whatever, right? Or an exit row seat. Just to move the seat, you have to pay. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. There is a seat available right next to my wife, but they put me in a different seat. And we were booked under the same uh, record locator number and all that kind of stuff. So they knew that we were together. But to be safe, we called them anyway, because we thought, well, maybe it's just like a software glitch. I knew it wasn't, <laughs> but maybe it's a software glitch. So Laura calls them, because I won't be able to contain my temper if I speak to American Airlines. Um, Laura calls them, and it turns out that we do have to pay to move us, and that basically there's, their policy is to let the system assign people seats, right? Which in theory sounds all right, but clearly it's done so that they split people up, and you have to pay. It's $12, right? So it's not like it's an insane amount of money, but the whole concept that you have to pay to sit next to the person that you're on the flight with is insane to me. That is just disgraceful. It's money grabbing. That's grabbing. It's just, it's it's so ugly. <laughs> it's so ugly, right? So I want to sit next to her. It's a five-hour flight. So I pay the $12 and I'm fuming at this point. And my wife says to the customer service rep, she says, um, her name's Dawn. She says, Dawn, what would happen if, if it was a child? And she said, but he's not a child, is he? He's a grown-ass man. That's what she said. I'm not kidding you. In reference to me. But he's not a child, is he? He's a grown-ass man. Fuck, man. What happened to American Airlines? I know what happened to it, actually. I don't know why I'm asking that question. That was a setup. I know exactly what happened. 9-11 happened. Right? After 9-11, the flights were grounded entirely for, I think it was two or three weeks. Um, there were still some flights, but very, very limited. Effectively grounded. And the, the airline industry said, oh, we're going to tank if we can't do the American, uh, the, the domestic airline in the U.S. said, we're going to tank if we don't get some support. So they got a bailout. And I think it was either 20 or $30 billion. Now, that was dispersed among a lot of companies. And a lot of companies that don't even fly in the air got money, by the way. But a majority, majority of it was dispersed to the major airlines, United, Delta, Continental, I think, at the time. I can't remember. Anyway, dispersed amongst the major ones. So they got a bailout, right, that we paid for. Our tax dollars paid to keep them afloat. But they're so fucking cynical, <laughs> the, Amer the domestic airlines in this country, because they don't have enough competition, because only certain airlines can fly domestically, U.S. airlines, basically. Am American airlines, not American airlines, but airlines based in the U.S. They're so cynical... They took the sympathy that this nation had for them, the sympathetic ear that we had for what they were going to go through, and they fucking changed their business model. They're like, oh my God, we can use them as cattle. Not only can we take this bailout money, which frankly they could totally have survived without the bailout money. At the time, it's easy to say that in hindsight. I understand that. But as it turns out, they could have easily survived without the bailout money. Not the smaller airlines, but the big airlines could. The ones who actually took the majority of the money. 
they not only took the bailout money, but they also realized, wow, we can cut down on all of our services. We can, we can basically make the change now while everyone is feeling for us and everyone's in shell shock and totally destroy this idea that we're a good airline. We're going to go full budget. We're going to make them pay for absolutely everything. So that by the time the shock of 9-11 had gone, this new model was already in place. This is now how they fly. This is, this is what it is now. You pay for absolutely everything. You pay for everything because oh, they need our money. You know, they've got to cut corners. They've got to cut. No, they don't. They're a budget airline. I admit that, right? I know their budget. But there are budget airlines all over the world that are nowhere near as bad as this. And the prices are comparable. If you fly in Europe or Asia or, well, actually, they're the only two I can compare to because they're the only ones I've done. But if you fly in Europe or Asia, the budget airlines over there, absolutely a ready budget. But there's something about the way they do business that's just understandable. The only one I flew that was really bad was Ryanair. But they were so cheap. I mean, way cheaper than American. Inconceivably cheap, Ryanair. I mean, you're lucky it gets off the ground, right? But the other ones, um, what was it, EasyJet or Blue, Blue JetBlue? I can't remember the name. I think it's JetBlue. And there were a few others as well. Um, they're just so much better than American and United. And to some extent, Delta. Delta I had a little bit better time with. but And I think it's because they don't care anymore. They, they don't give a fuck. They know they've got us by the balls. Who's their competition? There's no one that's their competition because the market isn't open. It's restricted, right? So American are the cheapest flights in the US, and therefore they can do whatever the hell they want. They will make you pay for changing seats. They will make you pay for bag. I mean, it's not going to be long before. I don't know if you saw a CES or something, there was a there was a prototype for a aircraft seat that was effectively standing. Holy shit. Oh, they're fixing next door. There was effectively, you stand. Your body's like this, basically. You're bent like this. American will be the first to take that. Mark my words. Mark this date, 26th of September, 2019. American Airlines are the first ones who will incorporate that. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. There's always that talk about what is the least popular the worst company in america and and electronic arts often win it because gamers are like that and yeah they're they're, they're not great what they do but it's not that important bank of america sometimes wins it and i can't stand bank of america but here's the thing when you walk into bank of america the people who work there are really nice they're not doing anything wrong they're doing their best it's the company policies that are screwed up wells fargo right they've had some Terrible times recently. But again, the people who work there in general are nice. American Airlines, not only are they a shitty company, but frankly, the people who work there are all assholes. And I think it's because they're so poorly treated. They, they know that, that they used to work for American Airlines. American Airlines, man. Now they work for American Airlines. This shitty, crappy budget company that makes everyone pay for everything. They get nothing. The uniforms are all crappy and falling apart. And, you know... Nah, that's not true. The uniforms aren't crappy and falling apart. But the, the point is, it reflects the tone of the company very much so, which it doesn't in a lot of those other companies. I've actually worked for EA for a short time, and it was not a great job. But, you know, the people who work within that company, these companies, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, EA, it's normal people. They're okay. They're perfectly happy and nice. You know, Bank of America, I have to go there every so often to pay checks into a different account for someone I know. Um, and they're all really nice. Everyone's willing to help and whatever. American Airlines, oh my God, God forbid. Don't book them. That's the message here. Do not book American Airlines. Send a message with your wallet. They're just awful. They're absolutely awful. God forbid you get a flight delay. I don't know if you've ever experienced a flight delay with American Airlines, but it is way worse than any other flight delay I've been through. It happens a lot with American. I, I don't have stats, so maybe it happens the same with everyone. But with American Airlines, when their flight is delayed, you will not be given any information. And it doesn't matter about the consequence for you. It doesn't matter if it means like, oh, you're stuck in the airport all night. Or, nah, all the hotels are full now because we didn't tell you. They won't give you any information because they don't want to accept any culpability. They are constantly playing on the line of are we responsible are we not or just don't tell them anything it's delayed it's delayed when they know that it's cancelled awful company anyway there that vent over i just wanted to get that rant out because they drive me nuts so i spoke to my wife about it we're making a policy we are never flying them again i want to make the same policy with united but she hasn't had as bad an experience as i have so you know she's got to go through it at least once but i mean fly southwest they're expensive. 
They're more expensive, but they're, they're, they're nice. Everyone's nice there. The flight's good. Everything seems fine, you know. They have a few odd systems. They're, none of them are great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. None of them are offering kind of this extraordinary service, you know. Um, but Southwest are pretty good. Alaska were pretty good. And Delta, as I require, I haven't flown them for a while, but they were pretty good as well, you know. They're what you expect. Cheap flights, they're good. United, American, fuck you guys, man. All right, that's it. Have a good day. Bye.